and welcome everybody to the beautiful Gisborne, New Zealand. We're on a tender day, which means um, the boat stays here in the bay, and we take a little tender boat, which is, I don't know if you can see it, right there, they're loading up people, and then it's going to go that way, just like a kind of straight shot. I think it's about 20 minutes or so on the tender to get over there. So it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's almost 80 degrees out here right now. So beautiful, no rain, no nothing, just gorgeous. Now, one thing that's known for here in Gisborne is it's the first place in the world to see the sun rise. Now, pretty much all the excursions had something to do with wine today. So it's a big winey, beachy type place. So we didn't, we're just going to kind of wander around on our own and see what there is and see some of the beaches and stuff. So yeah, we're going to head out there now, get on our tinder. So here we go, Zyder Dam. Our little boat is over there who just dropped us off as a part like a 20 minute tender ride over here into town. We have no idea what to expect here. So we're just going to wander around. It is the home of a lot of wineries and beautiful beaches. So don't think we'll be doing those, maybe some of the beaches, but uh, yeah, we're just going to wander around, see what there is to offer. First thing we found out about is the farmer's market. So one of the ladies told us to go right here across the riverway or waterway, go under the bridge. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna head down under the bridge like a little troll. Head on this cool little pathway and there should be a farmer's market somewhere down yonder from what one of the little ladies from the cruise told us about and there's supposed to be a museum and stuff over there. So we're gonna head over that way and see if the market's still open. So it looks like this, Turanganui River the shortest river in New Zealand, 1,200 meters long. That's what that's called. Now they do have in one of these places here in New Zealand, the longest place name. Can't remember where they told us it was at, but it's like ridiculously long of a name. We're still walking around through this beautiful little area. And it's again, I think close to 80 degrees. I think somebody told me. And it's absolutely beautiful. No rain in sight. It looks like, I know right now it is the weekend and it's still early, it's only, let's say about almost 10.30 in the morning and so all the markets are open. And look at that, they, I guess they, I don't know if they have a, just a normal outdoor market right now. They have some stuff over there in tents and up ahead, some more things. So we're going to go check that out. Oh, this is the best day to be out here. Christy and I both love going to those little flea markets and the food markets, all those little things they have on the weekend. So this is, this will be fun. done with the little market area since we couldn't really use any American money and the ones we wanted didn't take credit card we decided to go around the little shopping area look what we found almost like a dollar store but it's a two dollar store we got a whole bunch of stuff in there of course I got my Pepsi here there's no Cokes and got tons of stuff that we needed for the room a great little store like just like just like the Dollar General store so um, it was just perfect, got plenty of cool stuff. And even some little costumes for the different themed nights. That was cool. So now we're gonna continue wandering around a little bit and um, do some more shopping, because we only have about, I think, three hours left. fun walking around the market walking around all these different shops we have bought a few things some things for the room some things just for fun some things for the theme nights on the cruise ship so that came in handy since we had some time just to do some shopping and kind of wander around this is more of an excursion type place 
and all the excursions were sold out on the cruise ship except one that had to do with a bicycle. Otherwise, everything had to do with wineries and stuff. And so if I ever come back to Gisborne, I'll definitely do one of the excursions. I know it's wine country and a lot of tour stuff, but eh, that's what I'll do next time. But this time it's been fun and relaxing, just kind of a peaceful walking day, shopping and just kind of chilling today because tomorrow's going to be a busy day in Wellington, New Zealand. So we're continuing walking around a little bit more before we head to the ship. We still have about two hours before we have to be back. But otherwise, not much going on today. Hope you enjoy just kind of walking around and just kind of seeing the town. It's been fun. Left the town center and made it over here to the water front area. Over behind me is the, behind me is the beach. And then on this side, let's see. On this side, this little creek right here, this little canal. Not this first part, but the one right behind it is where the little tender boats will take you out to the cruise ship, which I don't know if you can see it from back there, the cruise ships right there, way in the distance with those beautiful hilltops in the background. I keep seeing these little things, which is pretty cool. They give you a little information about the history of certain spots wherever we're at. But then this part right here is cut open. So when you take your pictures, you see something specific straight through, which is kind of cool. Um, make that cool little looking picture. But yeah, so right here, some people fishing. And then the beach is just a little bit further right down that way. I figured, why not? I have an hour before the ship leaves. So I'll just walk around here and see the beach and enjoy some of that before heading back to the cruise ship. And here's the famous statue of Mr. James Cook right there, the explorer. There's a lot of these little islands with James Cook, Hawaii. There's so many places where James Cook's name is somewhere on that island. That's something special. So, very important man. So, over there by Captain Cook's statue, they have the little plaque that gives you a little information about the island and how him and the Endeavor met with the Maori people and the chief to help plot out the very first map of this um, beautiful country of New Zealand. So, very cool little history lesson there. Look at this, right here near the water, and look at this beautiful scenery. A lot of vegetation, and beautiful trees. It's just a very nice little clean area right here. Very nice. I'm glad this was the how we're going to end the day. So we made it to the beach, and it's called Oneroa. I don't know how to say it. Beach, and it looks fantastic. It's beautiful weather right now. I haven't been in the water yet, but I heard everybody say that it has been in the water. That is a little bit chilly and of course they have one of those cool little signs again where you put, take the little picture through the little hole and get a cool little description of the area with a site and a picture so they have that there right over here right back here you got the statue depicting the very first sighting of new zealand by the endeavor and captain cook's team so that's really pretty right there you see the cruise ship in the background very like a stunning stunning view back there with the ship and the new zealand backdrop back there it's just it's absolutely beautiful and thankfully no rain no nothing today it's just been pure heat and beauty so great great day now it was a kind of a slow day there wasn't a bunch of activities today but it was a great day to do some shopping get some errands done buy some a couple of things that we needed for the room and just have a good relaxing day without having to worry about excursions and time and rushing and stuff like that but there's the there's the beach beautiful beautiful i'm gonna see if we get a little bit closer while walking around on the side of the beach i notice here in the background there's a bunch of rvs so i don't know if there's an rv park back here or some kind of event but there's a bunch of rvs and from what i've seen on youtube rving here in new zealand is a must do thing you can see so much of the beauty that's new zealand there's one road that goes between the whole, from one end, the very top, all the way to the very bottom southern island. And then you take the little car ferry in the middle between the two islands of New Zealand. It's supposed to be the longest road here in New Zealand. I forgot if it's road one or road two, I can't remember, but that'd be an adventure. So maybe one day we'll come back to New Zealand on a road trip and see all the different parts of New Zealand. But right now, what we've been doing so far has been phenomenal. What a great experience here in New Zealand. Beautiful people, everybody's so friendly and accommodating. It's just, oh, let's sit right here. 
it's just an amazing experience to be able to travel the world and see things like this place, New Zealand. Now, after this, we have Wellington, which will be our last New Zealand place. Then we go to sea for a couple days and then we'll be in Australia. Now, I've already done the top part of Australia and then down to Sydney. This time on this cruise, we're gonna do Sydney and go straight down the bottom part and up the left side of um, Australia. So now I can say after this trip that I've done all of Australia. So it's gonna be super exciting to be able to say that I've traveled all these different places. So yeah, what a great experience. So without getting my tennis shoes soaking wet, at least I can see I touched the water here in New Zealand, even though it's just the little bit that's coming in with the tide. Look at that. Yep. Oh, and they said, somebody said it was cold, but it's warm. It feels, it feels perfect. I can see why everybody's having a great day this weekend here. And of course the beach goes way down yonder. There's some more tents and some activities, I guess, going over down there. But we have to keep an eye on the time. So I have to head back to the ship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are calling it a day here in Gisborne, New Zealand. And what a fantastic way to end the day on a phenomenal day, it's sunny. It has been a great day, nice and relaxing. And you can see in the background, we have the tender way in the background heading over to the ship. I'm gonna head back that way back into town to get on the tender so I don't miss my ride back to the ship. I think we have about an hour left, but it's a little bit of a walk to get back to the tender. And so I don't wanna miss that. But guys, you know, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short but fun day here in Gisborne, New Zealand. And next time you see me, we'll be over in Wellington. We have a whole bunch of things planned. Hope you guys enjoyed. And from me and Gisborne, New Zealand, you all take care. Bye.